welcome my dear students to game for pgs it is a practical channel meant for gross and microscopy but it has been expanded to other practical exercises both for undergraduates and postgraduates i would like you people to kindly convey this message to your junior students the job for today will be weight fight karakos sting in the last class we had seen the pas staining here i thought was a very simple procedure not much to talk and then as i went and did a little bit of homework i found that there are certain things which we shall understand and reproduce thanks to dreams time for this wonderful background of an ancient laboratory the gentleman we are seeing on the screen is gerard hansen in whose name the disease is now called hansen's disease it is no longer called leprosy which is supposed to be a stigma on the right side i am finding carbal fusion being applied to the smears and there is a heat fixation that is going on so there is a hot method of stain which means there is a cold method also so you people should remember these two in your bacteriology you should have been doing this hot method for the acid fast staining whereas here you are not supposed to heat so this is one procedure that is being followed so please do remember for the time being there is a hot method there is a cold method and we are following the cold method now what are we seeing on the screen it is a picture of stigmatum there are people over here and then a hansen patient is walking along he has been kept aloof a very beautifully depicted picture by cooper and instantly you find that this particular person happens to be one of the pioneers in designing a stain for leprobacillus so this is of paramount importance and i was having a lot of difficulty in picking up pictures of the great stalwarts who had contributed towards hansen's disease the structure of the mycobacterium leprae i am not taking a microbiology class but this is of importance to us from the staining point of view you find that the bacterium has got surface glycolipids which again are consisting of mycotic acid arabinadone lactan and peptidoglycan these three are there one two and three this is followed by the lipid bilayer between two monomolecular layers of protein so this is the structure of the lepra bacillus it is aerobic rod shaped it has got parallel sides and the ends of the bacterium is rounded short and stout unlike the tubercle bacilli which is long and slender it can develop a cigar bundle like appearance or a fish in a stream appearance when the bacilli are adherent together 1 to 8 microns long 0.2 to 0.5 microns in width so this is a structure that we shall be remembering and coming to the panel of stains for the lepra bacillus you find carbal fusin by itself was used gram stain pas acid fast stain the zeil nielsen's classical method used for tubercle bacilli was done for lepra bacillus also later on for tissue sections a lot of changes have been brought about by elis and zabrawarni modified bleaching method of the zeil nielsen stain fight ferroco stain as it is now classically called cooper's modification who was the author of the picture that i showed first and weight fights modification of their own stain like this you find that there are panels and panels of staining methods 
obviously a lot of research has been done on the lepra bacillus for a lot of reasons until today we have not been able to eradicate leprosy so this is the structure i would like you people to kindly appreciate the rounded ends of the bacillus basic things first so these are the basic steps in the acid pass chain you apply carbal fusion for a period of 30 seconds then there is a heating that is done you find fumes of it evaporating after some time it is decolorized with acid alcohol 15 to 20 seconds is the time that is given it can vary ultimately i find that the bacilli take up the stain and it is counter stained with another stain called the methylene blue so you get a picture like this the bacilli retain this and the other substances take up the methylene blue color these are the basic steps of acid fast staining this is applicable to the lepra bacillus also then why do we need a modification why do you need improved states the text is given here this i would like you people to kindly by heart the mycobacterial cell is composed of a waxy substance called mycolic acid the cell wall contains mycolic acid these are hydroxy carboxylic acids with okay these details the property of the acid fastness is related to the length of the mycolic acid that is found so you find that since lepra bacillus contains it the same conventional method will not be that effective in fact the stain is said to be lost after some time hence an improvement is needed the leprosy bacillus then is less acid and alcohol fast than the tubercle bacilli what do you mean by the word fast it can retain the staining that we are doing tubercle bacillus retains it well whereas lepra bacillus does not do so that is why it is mentioned as less acid than alcohol fast therefore the alcohol is removed from the hydrating and the dehydrating steps 10% sulfuric acid is used as a decolorizer there we are using 1% hcl the sections are also deparaffinized using this combination what is this combination peanut oil and xylene mixture so we shall be seeing that when you see the bacteria in a slide there are different formats of them usually we do find solid bacilli with rounded ends but sometimes they can be fragmented particularly when the patient is on treatment or when there is a lepra reaction or when the bacilli die you find that there is fragmentation also in some cases i find them to be only granular powdery material so these three things we should have in mind the structure when we are seeing under the microscope i am interested in it only as a technician and for reading the smears i need a bacteriological index density of the lepra bacilli a microbiological index of the live bacilli among the total and there is a solid fragmented and granular percentage you see the total and calculate the percentage these are the three methods by which we will have to express in the exam they will definitely ask you what will be the grading and before you utter the grading as such please mention the indices bacteriological index microbiological index and the solid fragmented granular percentage and this is the bacteriological index that has been developed by ridley ridley and jopling another fantastic personalities who have dedicated their life in fact they have changed their classification n number of times so these are some people we should always salute look at the grading over here from 1 plus to 6 plus and 
this is the value that your people get i would like your people to kindly memorize 1 to 10 bacilli in 100 fields 1 to 10 in 10 fields 1 to 10 in a single field and 10 to 100 in an average field 100 to 1000 in an average field and then finally you find more than 1000 in a field which is graded as 6 plus normally this we see in a histioid hansens or in lepromatous lepros so bacteriological index is one that we have mentioned earlier so this is a table which we need not memorize this is a set of clinical presentation and the lepromin test on this side i am finding the types of leprosy the details are given over here we shall not bother about it then why am i presenting this particular slide it is for one reason in lepromin test it is strongly positive for tuberculoid type of leprosy the second fact is in lepromatous leprosy there will be many bacilli and globi also you find that they may be found in the nasal scrapings this will have to be borne in mind these two things alone at one extreme too many bacteria at another extreme a strong positive lepromin test that much we shall remember nothing beyond it now this is a slit skin that is being prepared what is the anesthesia that is given no anesthesia is required because it is an anesthetic patch itself or a hyposensitive patch therefore after sterilization there is a slit and the material obtained the diagnosis is based on the clinical symptoms which can be hypopigmentation anesthesia or a neural thickening slit skin smear skin biopsy nerve biopsy and the lepromin test these are the basic markers for diagnosis of lepros and in this i am finding the conventional acid fasting and the recent modification of it so if you are technically superb you will be able to see that there is a fine difference between these two pictures also do observe that there are large vacuolated cells in the background which are harboring the bacilli which are seen in clusters maybe they are called the globi the question that we had asked earlier why do you use peanut oil i could have used xylene itself because of the high content of the mycolic acid the bacilli is supposed to be acid fast but after decolorization you find it can be losing it so this is prevented by means of the peanut oil it acts somewhat as a cushion to preserve the mycolic acid there is no disintegration of it if it were to be by xylene alone you find mycobacterium leprae will be losing its acid fastness after the exposure in 1938 fight was a person who developed the vegetable oil and the chicken fat for the deparafinizing later this has been replaced by the peanut oil which coats the bacterial wall minimizing the decolorization so you are likely to be asked this question why are you asked why are you using the peanut oil so this much explanation you people should give it should be to preserve the bacterial wall with the mycolic acid and the fight stain it uses a mixture of peanut oil and xylene in equal proportions 50 50 this was the year when it was discovered in 1970 another oil canola oil was also found peanut oil has got a high viscosity and there is also another substitute called the mineral oil which is used for various skin lotions
these are certain substances which can be used but peanut oil is a classical answer that you people can give and what is the ratio one is to one peanut oil and xylene now these are the steps in the acid fast staining or the fight ferro staining i will just be reading it kindly follow me used for the microorganisms such as leprosy and it is used to demonstrate mycobacterium leprae the principle is as mentioned earlier peanut oil is combined with xylene for deparaffinizing there is a minimal exposure to the bacterial cell wall to the subsequent organic solvents therefore it protects the precarious acid fastness of the organism this is exactly the answer that you people should give neither am i nor you an expert in this but the technician is in fact i have got some of the tips from the technician before taking this class the control always must be used it is a leprosy positive slide the fixative is 10% formalin what is 10% formalin is a different story we shall see that under fixatives so this is again the method deparaffinizing it for a period of 10 minutes change you do it thrice drain the slides and blot off the excess oil rinse in distilled water until the slide appears clear xylene always it is a clearing agent the slide will be appearing clear carbalfuxin is used for a period of 30 minutes at room temperature remember the method that we are following is a cold method no heating is done wash in tap water acid alcohol is used and finally you counter stain it with methylene blue if you are going to do an acid fast stain in the case of a fight ferro this will be the modification that is done wash blot and dry dip in xylene and mop this is another use of the xylene it can be used as a clearing agent it can be used for deparaffinizing it can be used for mounting also in fact dpx is diestrin dibutyl phthalate xylene the results are the lepra bacillus takes up a magenta color nuclei in the background a blue color and the red cells pale pink in color so this is the way it is done when the hot solutions are prepared they should be done under the fume mode basic fusion by itself is a carcinogen and you find that there is a mixture of xylene and the peanut oil that is fused you have to label it and preserve it it can be stable for a period of nearly 1 year all these are taken from web pack and you people can go to the references given over here this is a sample of the mineral oil that is given over here and this is the mineral oil what are all the uses of it there are multiple uses 30 unexpected uses of the mineral oil changing from dandruff to constipation and i put the 31st one as deparaffinizing for the fight stain so this is again the method and the counter stain is mentioned the sampling a slit skin or sometimes the ear lobe is used as an area of sampling a staining is done this is an ordinary acid fast stain which is showing the pink color of the bacillus now what are we seeing on the screen it's a nerve abscess whether it is a median nerve or an ulnar nerve one of the common presentations that too in a tuberculoid leprosy will be a nerve abscess and what is being done is the nerve is over here there has been a perineural abscess the contents are being drained they are not purulent looking as in a staphylococcal infection almost clear this can be used as a sample for stain and on this side i am finding see some vacuolated cells but otherwise i can appreciate a spindle shaped contour and there is a overlying skin so these are again modifications of the histiocytes usually in the hand or the elbow there is one variant called the histioid hand sense 
which can be present. So this is the formula of the reagent. You people can go through it. I have put it purposely for a purpose. The reference has been Paracco in the year 1938, whose picture I struggled, I could not get it. I hope you people will be able to help me. The colors we have already mentioned. I will not be going into the details. Look at this one, the fights method. There can be a routine acid fast stain or there can be a modification of it. This is a modification in which I am seeing. And the background can be by means of the methylene blue. Wisdom matters. I would like to recall an experience of ours. There was a lesion around the elbow with a nodular appearance. People were thinking of either a schwannoma or a neurofibroma or a histiocytic lesion. It happened in Jipmer several decades back. And when it was brought to the notice of Professor Veliath, he immediately asked for one acid first, rather a fight for stain. And when the stain was done, it was teeming with bacilli. And the spindle-shaped cells were supposed to be variants of the foamy macrophages you see in leprosy. It is called as histioid hamsters. Histioid means it resembles the histiocytes. There are other stains also which can be done. This is the PAS. It is not as convincing as the fight ferroco stain, but still it is positive. The bacillary, bacillary details are not very well brought out, but the positivity is PAS stain. Here again, it is positive. Again, the bacterial architecture is not well brought out. It is an alcyon blue stain. So when you people are asked about the various stains, you can mention PAS also, alcyon blue, but these should be last in your list or you should be strong enough to defend your diagnosis. These are very well given in any of the text of histopathological techniques. Leprosy does not stop with it. There has been an immunostaining for the BCG antigens, which is shown over here. And also immunoelectron staining. It is an electron microscopic picture wherein there has been an immunostaining called as immunoelectron staining. And this has been provided by this company. Details are not there, but positivity is very much highlighted. There is yet another method called the multiplex PCR. So here you find it is positive, whereas towards end, the 11th, 12th, it is being negative, 13. So this is important for us, multiplex PCR, polymerase chain reaction. And why so much of work is being done in the lepra bacillus? Because of one simple reason. We are not able to grow the organism in culture. Were that possible, then we would have treated it and we would have found out various drugs which would have been highly effective. So much of staining would not have been required. But nowadays, it is being needed even for the tubercle bacilli. All of you people know that. Leprosy as such, or Hansen's, you can imagine very much, no? You find that there is a lot of psychology behind it. It is not just the amputated digits because of self-inflicted damage, loss of sensation. But you find that there is something folding, something desperately folding one hand to the other. A kind of stigma and a helplessness, which is very classical of the Hansen's disease. And I happen to trace this one, Jopling. So Ridley and Jopling, they are stalwarts who have done rather dedicated their lives and there are enough number of these classifications and modifications which you people shall go to. Claims are huge by pathologists or contributions so. I am purposely pausing here for a few seconds. Look at this one. What I am seeing behind is a hospital in Karigiri, close to Chengalpur district in 
Tamil Nadu. And the entire class of mine is dedicated to these people who are working there. Even if it is going to be a central government supported, how many of us will be willing to take up a job in Karigiri? Kindly answer this question. Otherwise, retain the entire class, do your best, and I do not want you people to get less than 80% marks if you are getting weight fight Farako as a special exercise. Thank you.